Today's tutorial is about a simple AI tool known as Creatify. Now this is an AI tool that you can use to create short video ads for your products and all you need to do is just get the product link. With this tool you can easily use links from e-commerce sites such as Amazon, Etsy, Shopify and so many others. So once you've grabbed your link all you need to do is paste it in, the, in this link box over here and just go ahead and hit analyze URL. So let's go ahead and sign into our account. If you do not have one, you can just sign up with Google. Once you're in, all you need to do is just go and grab your link. So for this, let's use Amazon. So let's just take an example with one of these watches. So this brown one looks really good. So let's just go ahead and get the link for this product. Once you've copied the link, all you need to do is head back to Creatify and just go ahead and paste the link in this link box over here. Next, hit Analyze URL then Creatify is going to analyze the product that is associated with that URL. Now, as you can see over here, we already have the product name, we already have the product description, and all the images that are associated with that link. So you can just go ahead and edit out anything that you do not want here, because this is the information that Creatify is going to use to create your ad. So here you can go ahead and edit the description if you need to. You can also hit edit in the images to go ahead and delete some of the images or you can go ahead and upload some more images if you need to. So once you're satisfied with the information on this page, all you need to do is go ahead and hit next and this is going to open up the next window. Now here you can go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that you want from 9 is to 16 or 16 is to 9 or even square and then you can choose the length that you want your video to be. Next, you can go ahead and input your target audience. So this is important because it's going to help Creatify to come up with an appropriate ad for the audience that you've chosen. So once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is choose a language. So there is there are quite a number of languages that you can choose from. As you can see from the drop down menu over here, you can choose any of these languages. So I'm just going to leave this at English and then hit next. Creatify is going to take a few seconds to come up with appropriate scripts for your ad. And here we have a number of AI scripts that we can use. Now, as you can see, you have an option to choose one of these AI scripts. Or the next thing that you can choose to do is hit do it yourself. And once you do that, you can go ahead and input your own script. So you do not have to use the scripts that have been provided for by the AI. For the purposes of this video, let's just go ahead and choose one of these scripts that have been provided for by Creatify. So now you can just go through these scripts and see what piques your interest, what best suits your needs or, you know, your target audience. And if for some reason you do not like any of these ads, you can always go ahead and regenerate. And for this, you just need to scroll to the very bottom and you'll see, uh, you'll see this generate more scripts option. So just click on this. And now Creatify is just going to come up with more scripts. So again, if you do not like any of the new scripts, you can always go ahead and regenerate more. So that is totally up to you. So if you found a script that you like, just go ahead and hit select, then hit next. So at this point, Creatify will take a minute or so to create the avatar that is going to be used for your ad. So now in this next window, all you need to do is select the visual style that you want. So as you can see, there are so many styles over here that you can choose from. In this case, I'd want the product to be like the center of attention. So I'm just going to choose this product style because it kind of displays the product on the whole, you know, page. So now there are so many styles that you can choose from, as you can see. But uh, let's just go ahead and choose an avatar for our ad. And in this case, let's just go ahead and choose this girl over here. Alternatively, you can go ahead and create your own. So you also have that option open to you. Now, once you've chosen her, the next thing that you can do is just go ahead and choose the appropriate voice to go with the avatar. As you can see below the avatar option, there is the voice option. So just click on voice. As you can see, you can choose from either female or male. And then you can go ahead and choose from the options that are provided in either category. So now let's just go and revert this to male so that you can choose a male character for this. Sorry, a male avatar for this. Next, you can go ahead and choose the voice that you want to go with that specific avatar. Since we've chosen to go with a male voice, we can go ahead and change the avatar to a male character. 
so let's just go and choose one of these male ones now here you have it as you can see in the style you can see how the ad will be displayed in either of the styles that you choose so i'm still going to go with the product style because i think i like that one best at this point you can choose to add or remove music you can also choose to change the aspect ratio and then you can just go ahead and hit render so now our video is just rendering we're just going to give that some time now our ad is ready it's actually as simple as that to create an ad with creatify so let's just play and see how it turned out time is precious the moments we cherish even more so when i received my fossil grant watch it wasn't just about telling time it became a treasure of memories join me and make every second count there we have our ad and it's really as simple as that to create ads using creatify now note at this point that to have your ad without a watermark you'll need to have one of their paid subscription plans as far as I'm concerned, that is money well spent. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.